Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a follow-up video of this uh, screw storage or small parts storage system I built out of PVC pipe. In the previous video I had several comments uh, like, oh great, we got to have a thousand dollars worth of tools to make a twenty dollar storage system. Okay, that's a valid comment. Well, anyway, I, I found a cheaper way to do it and it's actually uh, more user friendly and easier to build. So, let's get on with it. Okay, here's the $20 uh, circle cutter, hole cutter. Uh, it works great. It's adjustable. It's got, got a quarter inch wide bit on it. I don't really like the uh, angle on there. It would be nice if that was a, made a square bottom slot for the PVC pipe. However, it I tried it out and it seems to work great. And the only thing I did is I took this little short bit out and I, I put a, a longer one in. It, I had to cut about three quarter inch off of that, the end of that bit to make it the ideal length. But and that's what we're going to use. Uh, and I'll, it'll be clear why I extended that later on in the video. Okay, uh, I'd just like to say if you haven't seen the first video I made, it'd probably, probably be a good idea to watch that because I'm probably not going to cover every aspect of building this. Uh, I just want to update. Uh, if you haven't got a cutoff sled for your table saw, I think you can probably cut this in a... Uh, standard miter saw. Uh, might have to flip it over to cut all the way through, but I got to do that on the table saw too. So I'm going to make this six inch. You can make it whatever length you want. video I lowered the blade like that and I cut through like that and I flipped it over and cut through again and uh, when you do that the, the tubing tries to collapse a little bit like that uh, I don't really think it's dangerous uh, if you got a cut off sled but I'm going to try cutting that in the bandsaw and I believe that'll work pretty good Okay, I've clamped a 2x4 guide to my bandsaw. I have no idea if this is going to work good or not, so let's just give it a try. I believe that's a little bit safer than the table saw. Okay. I'm going to make uh, the first center three and a half inches. Made that three. Three and a half inches. That'll leave room for a two by four on the bottom right there. Then after that, I'm going to step it uh, four and a half, I think. Let's see. Yeah, four and a half. It's just whatever you want. I think four and a half works out good. That's eight. Okay, I've got the uh, two by fours clamped together, both halves of our shelving system, uh, storage system. Uh, got the uh, circle cutter with the extended bit and the drill press. And I want to make sure that I'm centered this way. Uh, it's super important that, that you're absolutely centered. The best way I've found is measure the total distance, divide it in half, and then go in from both sides like this. That way if you're a little bit off, you'll have two lines, you can drill right between the two. Yeah, I made one, one wide line by doing that. What we want to do is make the first cut. And make sure 
the depth is about right. Okay, that's deep enough right there. Okay, I'm going to set my depth stop. Now they're all the same. Go to the next hole. Okay, got all those holes drilled. Now you just swap them out. Clamp them together. See, by extending that bit, I've got the pilot hole in the bottom piece in the, in the second side uh, to drill, to, to know where to drill. Move my clamp to the other end. So now I've got <clears throat> both halves of my storage system, and they're a perfect match. And there it is. You cut a 2x4. That's uh, 5 and a quarter. 5 and a quarter. Put the 2x4 in there, nail it, screw it together, whatever you want. Neat thing about this way of doing it too, there's a pilot hole here. If I want to put a hole saw uh, cut in there, or a uh, circle cutter groove or whatever. I can uh, make two systems. In other words, have, have one of these into the 2x4 like that. So you have three uprights and, and two, two uh, sets of trays. I ran out of 2x4s. I had to use my test piece in there. Well, there you go. Uh, this is just a test for me. I would have cleaned up the pipe and made it look a little nicer. I ran out of 2x4. Uh, but that's how you construct it. Uh, I don't think you'll have to do it, but you might want to take some hot glue to stop these from rotating. Uh, you can put a back on it if you want to. Might make it easier to hang on the wall. Uh, but you don't have to. I mean, when you put mine it against the wall, nothing's going to go through the back. But uh, I think the new fly cutter worked out really well. The extra long pilot made it really easy to construct. So thanks for joining me.